Hey now, what is going on in here? It's, it's Easter. It's Easter, baby. It's Easter. Hold on, my my extraction fans on. Let me turn that shit off. It's Easter. We're here. We're live. And I am also looking forward to the long weekend, Jeremy. I'm very much so looking forward to it. It's Easter. Let's go. Easter, baby. Time to have some eggs. Fire up for Easter. Let's go. Yes, very happy and excited for the long weekend. And I have a packed one, which is good. Because I, I get a bit I get a bit sad and nervous when I don't do anything on the weekend and I got a pretty busy one, so I'm looking forward to making the big bucks for the long weekend, says Oz Chris. Okay, let's go. Go off king. Go off king. Happy Easter one and all. Yeah, baby. It's bunny time. Pun at the dead watch along, says Jeremy. Hey, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Anything for you guys. Anything for you guys. Um, I thought I'd show you this quickly. Um, Dan, who's in the chat right now, we have a, a wine tour on Saturday. Uh, and I got these really nice uh, trousers. That, and the reason I got these ones, because I was like, oh, these kind of look like something the docs would wear. You know, I'm a bit inspired by the old doc. Um, and I, I did click and collect, because you know me, I hate going in shops. I hate trying shit on. Yeah, very 12-coded, exactly. And um, I, I tried them on, and they're too, uh, they're too tight. So that's great. Thanks. Uh, so now I have to go back on Saturday, because I'm pretty sure... Are the, are the shots closed tomorrow, or is that just a thing that happened in the past? I'm not too sure, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to get a at least two sizes bigger. Normally, here's the thing. I have trousers that, um, I, 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 I got, I got a size, I got a size lower than that in like chinos, but these ones are like really tight. They're like slim fit. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just get a size above my normal chinos. And that didn't work. So it didn't work. And now I'm going to have to, now I'm going to have to go get some new ones. You look great, King. I see some Kings in the chat. You're too kind to me. You're too kind to me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the wine tour. I'm going to dress up a little bit. Um, get some, get some pickies. Maybe, maybe chuck it on the old hinge. Try and get some, uh, get some dates going. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. I'm trying to stay away from that a little bit, to be honest with you. Nothing but trouble in the past. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, I'll go in on Saturday. What did Chrissy say? I'm pretty sure the majority of shops are closed. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'll go in on Saturday. I'll be like, remember me? That's right. My name's Connor. I got it from Connor. From Connor. Except it's two ends. And... Um, R in Connor stands for Riz, obviously. <laughs> Swanee D in the Swanee Valley. Yeah, let's hit some swans. Dan, let's hit some swans. I'm keen to hit some swans with you tonight. Yeah, that is Swan Draft. Not actual swans. Uh, Jeremy says, tell them you watch Star Trek. It worked in the past. Um, did I? Did I say I watched Star Trek to go? Oh, yeah, I did. Shit. <laughs> yeah. No. No, I <laughs> I watched Star Trek with a, with a girl. That's right. And Dan was there in the other room. You can ask him all about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited for the weekend. It's good. It's it's nice. I, I've had a good week. I've worked really hard, and I'm I'm keen to to crack some fucking tinnies tonight and um, just enjoy myself. Deep in the fifty percent law, says Jeremy. Yeah, you are. Sometimes I forget I say these things. Um, yeah, lots of film and stuff going on. There's something really exciting happening that I'm not going to say. You know what it be. 
you know I don't you know I don't spill that shit. Um, I got my camera here from we recorded the uh, uh, Warriors of the Kudlak review for for Sarah Jane. That episode will be out on Monday. That was really good. Uh, the first Zoom episode was pretty shit. I'll admit it. Um, Aiden's energy was really low. Can you blame the man? His sister was getting married. Um, but we, we sometimes we do wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, and but this week's episode, which we filmed, was it Tuesday? Was really good. So yeah, I'm an honest. I'm an honest uh, YouTuber. I'll admit when when podcast episodes kind of fucking suck. And that, what's it, Revenge of the Cybermen? It was pretty shit. I'll admit it. I wasn't too great in it either. Not not shifting all the blame on Aiden. Now it's fun. Very nostalgic for the older episodes. Yeah, the zoom the zoom part was fun. I just think like the the energy is not there because like you you don't have that in person interaction. Um, but I can assure you. I can assure you that uh, that this week's uh, next week's episode is 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 a lot better. I think the energy's there a lot more. It seems like people enjoyed it though. Like, it was just a weird thing. I'm reading the comments now, and uh, yeah, crispy saying you guys being on Zoom makes me feel nostalgic. Yeah, it's 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 true. It, it made me feel nostalgic too. Crispy was in the chat just a minute ago saying fifty fifty. Yeah, it sure it sure do be fifty fifty. That's a reference to um, the fifty percent Doctor Who podcast, which is the thing we run over here in this uh, this small YouTube channel, this independent YouTube channel. Mm. But yeah, lots of filming. That's why I grab my DSLR. So I have a video that I'm going to film. I put it on my Instagram story. It's not a vlog. It's not a podcast episode and it's not a live stream it's not one of these things um it's gonna be uh you know i've admitted it i'm getting a bit lazy because it's so much easier like when a new trailer comes out just to jump on here and, and do a live stream because once i once i click end on the live stream the video is out there and, and, it's, and it's up and it's done and um i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy that format even more when um when i <laughs> i get the uh, updated setup which i tease every every fucking week um but yeah i i do want to do videos that are actually like pre-recorded um i think we've only done one this year and that was the uh, it's been a fun ride video but that took out a lot in me um but it's going to be a companion piece to the horror fang rock um, which we're going to be reviewing not this Monday, the Monday after when we do just the one episode of series 15 Horror Fang Rock because a new box set came out. Uh, Aiden's got delivered yesterday, so we're going to be reviewing that. I'm very keen. That's a four part story in season 15. I've been wanting to watch that for ages. I watched the first like 10 minutes of the first part back in 2016 in December with my auntie in the UK when I went back to visit. Uh, but I remember thinking it was a horrendous piece of shit because I, I didn't have time for Classic Who back in the day, okay? What am I, nuts? Now, now I am nuts. And I have lost it. And I'm ready to review some some horror fang fucking rot, baby. Um, Jeremy says The Return of the King. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. I, I, boy, boy, do you guys make me feel good about myself. You really do. You warm my heart. And I hope you guys are enjoying these streams and... You know, uh, Scott, Dr. Scott Nick messaged me yesterday and said, um, wow, you've been killing it with the live streams. And I was like, thank you. I, I have been putting in more of an effort to do the streams and I've been doing them. I think, I think this is like the sixth or seventh week in a row we've been doing them. And some weeks we've had double streams as well, which is, which has been fun. Um, and I've really been enjoying them. It, it sucks that I'm like very tired, but you know, we, that's why we have apple cider, am I right? It's the Easter weekend. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, Adam says, watch it today. Loved it. That's referencing the horror fang rock. So, you know, it's it's got a lot of hype around it. And I'm keen. Uh, Bright, if you don't like it, the uh, the episode names writes itself. Horror fang. Wait, I'm so... Um, uh, what is going on with me today? Can I not read? All right. Let's read that again, Jeremy. You deserve the respect of having your comment read properly. 
Right, if you don't like it, the episode names right itself. Horror Fang Schlock, Horror of Fang Cock. Never mind, I see. Well, I think, as far as I'm aware, it's a very well-known and loved story. And yeah, this standalone companion piece video, it relates to the episode somehow, and I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. You're not getting anything else out of me, guys. You know how you you know how you do it. You know how you get me to say things even though I'm not supposed to. Please don't make me don't please don't make me tell you about the video I'm gonna be recording for Horror Fang Rock. Which I'll probably film this weekend, it depends. We'll see. It's the long weekend, baby. It's the long weekend. We got we got tonight, we've got tomorrow, we got Saturday, we got Sunday, we got Monday. We don't have Easter Tuesday. Why is it called Easter Tuesday if we go back to work? That doesn't make sense to me. That that pees me off. And my mum's birthday's on Tuesday, so um, I think we're doing something on. I said to her, I was like, why don't we do something for your birthday on the 1st of April, April 1st, April Fool's Day? And it wasn't a joke, I'm actually being serious. Uh, because, yeah, I'm like, look, there's no point, like, we'll, we'll, we'll do something on the, we'll do something on the Tuesday, obviously, for your actual birthday, but why don't we, why don't we just go and, um, you know, do something on Monday, because we're all going to be off. So, yeah. What's for us? Revenge of the Cybermen or Robots of Death? Oh, Revenge of the Cybermen. Maybe I just watch Robots of Death on a, on a wrong day, because I know everyone clowning on me for hating that shit. Uh, Easter Tuesday is for school kids to have a five-day weekend. So, I do... That's right, because I do remember at one point in my life having that weekend, that weekend being five days and having the Easter Tuesday. But I'll be back at work. Um, but it felt really nice clocking off today. Um, oh yeah, and also I pushed, push, jeez, I pushed <laughs> the live stream back to today because, um, I went out for dinner with my mum yesterday. Thank you guys for being patient with that and understanding. Uh, yeah, normally streams are on Wednesdays, but, uh, yeah, so I normally go out with, with, with Dan, who's in the chat on Wednesdays, but we're doing it tonight, which again is better because there's no... There's no words more, baby. Jesus died yesterday, 2,024 years ago, if that's how it works. I don't know. I went to a religious school and everything. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I'm sorry, I'm an atheist. I'm, I forgive me, forgive my sins. But I'll happily take the uh, I'll happily take the weekend off. Jesus died for us to binge drink. What a top bike. <laughs> Damn, Chris, whenever you come to Perth, we're, we're getting a beer and we're watching uh, Madam Web. Even if it's, I know it won't be at the cinema anymore, but I'll, I'll rent it, I'll rent it for you. We can, we can watch it, we, we can crack some beers. Oh, hell yeah, says Chris, yeah. It's happening. Either you come to Perth or, um, doesn't Chris live, I hope you don't mind me saying, uh, maybe I don't, maybe I shouldn't say what state you live in, I don't know if you want that being known. But um, I think you live in the same state as Crispy. So, um, only acceptable way to watch it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I've said it numerous times, it's fine. So, Crispy's in Brisbane, yeah. And you're in Brisbane as well. Hopefully, I'll be in Brisbane soon. Um, we're trying to plan a, um, we're trying to plan a holiday with myself, Aiden, Josh, and Crispy, um, but will that happen this year? Who knows? I, I don't know. I want it. I want it to. Um, I feel like I only take like one holiday every year and it's for like a couple of days and I only travel like three hours away with, with, um, with Dan. Used to be with more people, but shit happens. Um, I guess we'll talk about the trailer today. I know. Boring. Slump. Already talked about it. Here's the thing, okay? I don't like missing the live streams because I feel like you people, you people, you guys like it. Um, but also, it's like, what the fuck can we say, really? I mean, I've already gone through the whole thing. But, oh well. Um, we need a holiday photo of the four of you in white shirts, says Jeremy. Yeah, we've never met up all four of us at the same time. It's, it's been very timey-wimey. We've all met up at different times. Uh, here's something interesting. The Doctor Who official trailer, Disney Plus, currently sits at 4.7 million, that's million, views. And if you add 
for some reason, the, the season one trailer on the Doctor Who official YouTube account has uh, 634,000. So if you add that together, it's over, well over 5 million views. And that's just from two uploads. That's not counting like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok. I heard it went really big on TikTok, which is, which is good. Um, even though I curse that app every day. Um, isn't TikTok going away? Isn't it, isn't it? Isn't it getting um, demolished? You know, if Aiden actually uploaded to that social media, that would be a shame, wouldn't it? Um, but I'm looking here now, and the trailer, it, it's, it, it's insane, actually. Like, it's insane. Uh, so it's uploaded five days ago, and it's already in, like, the top, what's this? So 4, a 12... 34. So it's the 15th most popular upload to the YouTube channel, and it's only been up for five days. It took over the Taylor Swift. Um, that surprised me. The Taylor Swift Eras Tour, in brackets, Taylor's version, just in case you thought it was not Taylor's version. Uh, the official trailer. So that got 3.6 million views in three weeks. This Doctor Who trailer in five days got 4.7 million views. I don't know what to say about that because I've I've been a Doctor Who fan for 19 years yesterday because it was 19 years since Rose came out. I've been a Doctor Who fan for 19 years yesterday and I ain't ever seen a trailer for Doctor Who get that kind of reception and love. So I was a bit I was a bit um you know, a bit skeptical if, if, if the, if the Disney deal was going to make a difference and it looks like it probably will. I even got an email yesterday about how it's going to cost like an extra $5 a month to be sub to Disney, Disney plus. And this probably isn't the case, but it, in the back of my head, I was like, Hmm, is that got to do with Dr. Who? Like how much does this new season cost them? Like, God damn. God damn. My God. Apologies, I'm thirsty today. Um, isn't it a nice age trailer or something the highest viewed trailer on the channel, though? I think it is. It, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ice Age. Scrat Tales. I believe that's the little rat thing. And then the, that's from one year ago, and then the Percy Jackson teaser has 9.4. So yeah, these are big IPs, you know. And Doki Who, stand on its own two feet, is, 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 Doing the doing its darndest and, and doing damn well, if you ask me. Uh, Oz Chris says it's funnier that it got more views on the Disney Plus YouTube channel than the, and then the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. Rip, literally. So that's what I mean by I like the idea that this Disney deal might actually make a difference, which is, which is good. Um, Bruce Simmons says RTD has said if the BBC dies, he wants the show to live on with Disney. I did see Russell say something like that about how um, he doesn't think it's safe for for, for um, Doctor Who just to stay like a BBC show. Uh, interesting comment. Uh, I if this if this like obviously Russell knows more than us at the moment about how well Disney are handling it all. But if that is the case, then. And it's handled great, and we we see this massive boost in in ratings. Then sure, <laughs> like Disney can have it for as long as they want. I wonder if they ever do anything with the parks. Like imagine if Doctor Who became so big that the parks, like the Disneyland's and stuff, started to mess around with that stuff. Um, Adam Wilmer said probably to do with Hulu being added in the US. Maybe, maybe. Um, I think it went from like thirteen dollars to like eighteen dollars. Which is a bit annoying. It's like that's nearly twenty dollars. I remember when I remember when um, Disney Plus started. It was like eight dollars. I was like, that's a bargain for a streaming service. And the only reason I had, seriously, the only reason I had Disney Plus before Doctor Who, obviously, was because of The Simpsons. It, the I if you could have gone back in time and told me as a kid, like I used to watch The Simpsons on like like DVDs on like a portable DVD player. Like, if you would have told me, that's when I was out in the car and stuff, but I would watch it in my bed and stuff when I was supposed to be sleeping. But if you would have told me that you would have access to over 30 seasons on a streaming service as a kid, I 
I wouldn't be able to comprehend how that was possible. So that's pretty much the only reason I got Disney Plus is because of The Simpsons. Um, and I did used to watch stuff like Mandalorian back in the day, which is now a complete waste of time. Uh, Jeremy says, the trailer on the Doctor Who YouTube channel looks really washed out. I think they uploaded an SDR, not HDR. That is correct. I think if you watch it on the actual Disney Plus app, it's the best way to watch it. Um, I showed my family it. Um, and they loved it. Uh, I was just like, yeah, you know, it's just my TV show all grown up 19 years later. It's going off to Disney Plus College. Sign me up at Doctor Who Land, says Adam. Better Disney Who than No Who, says Bruce. Completely agree with both of you. Yeah, it's it's it needs to evolve. And look, do, do, do I wish it didn't get to the point where we needed to bring in the mouse? Sure, of course, but... But it did, okay? The BBC did not treat Doctor Who well. They have, they've notoriously not treated it well a lot in its long history of 60 years, 61 this year. Um, you know, it needed a budget. That's why I think Stephen's really interested in coming back or, or has has uh, agreed to come back because now he's actually working with the budget. Can you imagine like him leaving in, in what, 2017? Uh, probably rap production in like 2000. And, 16 or something but yeah like imagine just having like the the budget to actually do an episode like he must be like rubbing his hands together being like i don't know what to do with all this money it would be awesome um jeremy says memories did you ever have the red simpsons DVDs like the four episodes on them oh my god did i ever yes the classic they were the classic ones they were called the simpsons classic yeah dude they, they're in a bot I, again I'm, I'm moving everything i had them right here Shit, yeah, I do. I have this here. I have the uh, so it's kind of like this. So I got the VHS of Simpsons Go to Hollywood. This is very old. This is from the UK from when I was in there. And then I found this one in a charity shop, the Last Temptation of Homer. And these got transferred over to DVD and they called them the classics. Um, but yeah, I want to collect all the VHSs um, because. Because why not? I've got a Simpsons mug here. Um, got fucking Marge Simpson here. I got all the Legos. I got I got a few things. It's my second favorite TV show. Sometimes I've contemplated starting like a Simpsons podcast, but I do not have the time. I barely have time to do this. Um, were they knee slapping with the butterfly joke? No, they weren't. I I I I. No one said anything about the butterfly, and neither was I going to bring it up. That's the one thing I hate about that show is that butterfly bit. I just, I really hope, I really hope it's just a, uh, a quick joke and then we move on. I mean, I suppose on the, on the bright side, it looks like really good, um, makeup. Apart from that, no butterfly jokes, no butterfly jokes, folks. Um, Adam says, do the Bartman. I'll be doing the Bartman all weekend, man. It's, it's, it's the long weekend, baby. Let's go. Um, I've never seen The Simpsons. Can you recommend an episode? You've never seen The Simpsons? Holy macaroni. Okay, my favorite episode of The Simpsons is called The Springfield Files, which is season nine, episode 14? 14? The Simpsons Files. It's my favorite episode. Oh, episode, oh, it's season eight, episode 10. See, I'm a fucking fake ass fan. Uh, there's too much Simpsons for me to, to to wrap my head around. If I were you, I would just start from like maybe season six onwards, maybe season four. That's like the classic season four. I, I can, I can watch pretty much Simpsons up to season 20 without complaining massively. I know a lot of people think that's ridiculous. Um, I, I've watched the odd, I think I've watched like, season 34 and 35 in full but that's 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 as far as i go i've watched a few of the latest seasons and they're fine but i just i i i can't really the only reason i've watched latest seasons is because i've i've rewatched like season one to ten especially i've watched that shit to death like 
I struggle to watch an episode from season six just because I've watched it so much. Like particularly when I was a kid, it's it's all I would watch with with Doki Who. Uh, King Size Homer is a great one. Definitely Jeremy. Oz Chris says season six is good. I have the Homer Simpsons DVD case for it. That's there's a really great video on YouTube about that that Simpsons that that Homer case. I used to have a lot of the DVD. I do. I still have them. I still have stuff. I have tons of DVDs and Blu-rays. I don't really have anywhere to put them. Um, maybe I'll have more room soon. I have all my vinyls up here, and that's kind of it. Um, but I, 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 I would like one day to when they and I. I am on the side of they should finish the Simpsons. They should wrap it up. That's my opinion. Um, <laughs> but I don't think that'll happen anytime soon. Uh, Al Jean, who runs the ship now, who's been on it since like season one, he's pretty determined to keep it going. Uh, but I, I do, once the show ends, I'll definitely watch the final season. I think they could do some really interesting things. Um, but, oh, Adam says, one of my favorites, you only move twice, love Scorpio. Yeah, he's, he's brilliant. That's, um, Al Brooks. Yeah. Dude, so good. It's, a, it's such a great show. I would, once the... Once the final season airs and I've watched it, I will do like a full rewatch. It might take like three years, but I'll do like a full season one to series, whatever. Who knows how long I'll go on for. Jeremy Duncan says, hey ho, it's good to see you. You too, Jeremy. Happy Easter. Hope it's all going good with you. Uh, Jeremy says, I think Jeremy the NES rookie. I still don't know what that means. Says, um, I think series 33 onwards had a few underrated episodes. Season 33, episode 5, Lisa's Belly has a lot of series 2 vibes. I have seen Lisa's Belly. That's a really great episode. And because uh, I'm really, I'm super insecure about like my weight and my body. Um, I used to be like really skinny. And I think because I got like quite fucking depressed and <laughs> just, I, just life got to me a bit. And I started to eat more and, you know, I do enjoy my, my ciders and my beer. Um, responsibly, but I do, and I think I gained weight as I got older, um, not massively, but a bit, and I started getting secure about my body. That episode definitely, um, is relatable, for sure. Don't ever stop the Simpsons. Absolutely, Jeremy. Happy easter -y do To avoid confusion, you can call me Ginger Jeremy. Sure, Ginger Jeremy. Why not? Hey, hey, Oliver Foss is in the chat. Hey, what's going on? Is this some kind of, like, Easter get-together? It's an Easter get together. There aren't that many uh, Easter Simpsons episodes. There is that classic bit with Ralph with the with the um, the basket where he's chucking in the egg and he looks down and he finds it and chucks in the egg. Apart from that, I don't think there's that that many Easter episodes of the Simpsons. Neither with Doctor Who. I mean, there's Planet of the Dead, like Jeremy said, non ginger Jeremy. That is. Fuck, it's hard to. You know what I've learned? I hate like. I hate pausing because it's a live show and it's just me. And if I pause, no one's talking. And I also hear if you pause too much and there's a bit of time out, science that starts playing an advert midstream. And I don't want that for you guys. So I try to keep my, um, my, uh, sciences as little as possible. What am I saying? I don't know. The most recent season of the Simpsons has actually been really good. Says, uh, Ginger Jeremy. I have heard that. I, here's the thing, I I've said this about um, I said this about True Detective season four, and stay with me. I'm gonna bring this back to The Simpsons. I think True Detective season four was fine. If it wasn't attached to the True Detective um, IP, we would have people would have enjoyed it a lot more. Problem is, it's attached to the True Detective IP, and uh, you know. Season one of True Detective is like probably one of the greatest mini series of all time, in my opinion. I think it's a fucking masterpiece, or very close to a masterpiece. Same with The Simpsons. If it didn't start off being such a pioneer for TV and just comedy in general, I think people would watch the new seasons if they were just coming out now and being like, hey, this is one of the best animations, adult animations on air. Um, but I think because it was such a classic, it it really was just a pioneer. Um, it it gets stuck in that category of just not being as good as it once was. 
And again, I will, June to Jeremy, I can promise you once all the seasons are out, that should happen maybe when I have kids. I'm just on a live stream. Cheers. You okay? You all right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Maybe before I have uh, children, there'll be the final season to Aaron. Who knows? Um, <laughs> just blow your nose in the, in the room next door. It's all good. Uh, where are we? I've lost my place. Um, the most... Uh, blah, blah, blah. We're forgetting the best Easter special, Legend of the Sea Devils. Fucking hell. Jesus. Oz Chris, you're so right. My God. What a horre... That has got to be... I, I'll give it slack because of COVID, but that's got to be one of the worst episodes of Doctor Who of all time. I remember I watched it on the 4K TV and you can literally see in like, um, in John Bishop's hair as it's flown in the wind, like the little green specks from the light, from the, um, from the green screen. It's nuts. Um, what... What seasons are The Simpsons on? I think The Simpsons are on season, um, God, what, what series is the, sorry, I need to, is The Simpsons on? Uh, 35. <laughs> I was convinced, when I was at school, when I was at school, I was convinced they were going to end it at 30. I was like, great place to wrap it up. Now I'm convinced they're going to... Now I'm convinced they're going to wrap it up at 40. But they might try and go for 50. You never know. Problem is, they're going to have to start recasting the original cast. Because Dan Castellenta, sadly, will one day die. <laughs> and um, I've read um, Julie, what's her name, who, who voices Marge. They've had to use AI and previous episodes with help of AI, which is not a great sentence to be saying to um, finish, uh, she, she, she couldn't finish a few recordings for the last season and they had to use AI to help dig up old episode recordings from older episodes to fill in the blanks that she couldn't fill in. Um, that scares me for the future. It's like, we're just gonna get rehashed of old voice recordings. Um, for me, the perfect last season of The Simpsons for me would be every episode wraps up a character. Like we have an episode with Mo. Um, Mo, I know they did with Mo, which is really interesting because they don't do this in The Simpsons. They they like to um, they like to keep it like it, it, it's almost like a constant loop. There's not it's not really a lot of connection between it. But you know we we he now has like a, a girlfriend, which I think is really interesting. Maybe that his last episode. I'm not saying he can't be in other episodes, but they can be like a Mo centric episode where he gets married and like. Maybe one with Barney where he finally gets sober. There could be one with Bart finally finding a passion in life that's not being a little shit. I don't know. And then we end it, the final episode. I know this is so cliched and people have been saying it for years, but the final episode, the final like scene could be them driving to the school to go watch the Christmas um, pageant that's going on, which is how... Series 1, Episode 1 opens, Simpsons, Rosen on Open Fire, and then it's like a continuous loop. Because, like, how can else can they explain the kids never growing up, um, nothing really... Again, things happen and, like, the next episode starts. It's like when Kenny dies in the South Park when he's back next week and there's no explanation. Uh, yeah, whatever. You know, uh, this is a Doctor Who podcast, but I'm talking about The Simpsons. Uh, um... Bruce Simmons says, Doctor Who has 39 seasons, so we won. That's true. For now, if you ever know, they might. I think I think Simpsons is going for 40. Uh, Oscar says, I feel like if one of your main cast can't do the voice anymore, um, you got to be lazy and use AI. Just end it. I totally agree. Jeremy says, oh my God, Marge's voice sounds horrific. I hope they recast her because it sounds like it's really hurting her vocal cords. How me? Oh me! That's what she sounds like. Now. It's so it's so sad. I know the the vocal cords are gone. Give Julie a rest. Skinner becomes a superintendent. Sure, that's what I mean. Like, have all this stuff. Like, apart from like, is it Patty or Selma? One of one of them getting like adopting a kid. I know can't but guy gets a girlfriend and they they have a kid and then Mo getting a girlfriend. Apart from that. There's not really any big things that happen in episodes that, like, stick. It's all just, like, episode of the week type thing. And I would like to see 
Something different, maybe. Just for once. Oh boy. Oh boy. But anyway, <laughs> Disney Plus is doing good stuff with Doctor Who. <laughs> <sighs> it's not much to talk about really, is it, when it when it comes to Doggy Who these days. Let's go on let's go on Twitter and see see what the uh the general fuss is about. If you guys want to ask any questions, go ahead. We'll we'll keep talking for a little bit. I got a little bit of time. I hope you do too. Let's hop on Twitter. And I'll read the chat. Uh, oh my god. I hope I'm not wrenching the conversation, but I have the wild theory about the series one from the trailer. Absolutely, Jeremy. That's that's <laughs> please bring us back on the rails. Fire away. Few character deaths, but only that happen when the actor dies in real life. That's true, Jeremy. But I know they 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 have recasted a few people, and it just does not sound right. It just doesn't sound right to me. Uh, fire away with the questions. I'm just going through Twitter right now. I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put Doctor Who into the search engine on Twitter, or as you kids call it these days, X. And we'll see what pop, pops up. Let's see the general discourse on on Twitter. Um, nothing. Oh, Crystal D just made a video. The Doctor Who series one trailer left me with more questions than answers. All right, let's let's watch let's let's watch a Crystal D video. How about that? Let's let's watch it together. Oh, let me let me mute my live stream. How many wives has Ned had now? I think I think two. Three, maybe? Two? He's had a few girlfriends, I know that. Ned gets around. Ned gets around. Alright, let me... Let's watch this Crystal D video. And no, I'm not... I'm not doing it. Um, I'm happy to chat shit about The Simpsons. It's a long weekend. Yeah, let's go. I'll watch this Crystal D video, then we can get back to The Simpsons. Alright, let's, let's see what Crystal has to offer. Alright, this is Crystal D from... The official Doctor Who podcast, who, and I'll get to your theory in two seconds, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy uh, Ginger Jeremy. The trailer for the upcoming series of Doctor Who has just been released, and I've got four big questions. All Hit right. the follow button. Let's see if we can answer the questions. More Doctor Who content, and let me know your theories in the comments. Number we'll one, do. will the Doctor and Ruby feel the repercussions of time travel in this series? The tra I hope so, Crystal. Shows a devastated London, and there are strong hints the timeline's been altered. We know that ever since... We do, there is a theory going around that they see London devastated in episode two, and that's like an ongoing thing for the whole series. Sorry, Crystal, continue. Doctor invoked a myth at the edge of the universe. Something has changed, allowing entities like the Toy Maker to enter. So mm. could previously mythical concepts like the butterfly effect now be a reality? It looks like the fundamentals of the universe have changed and anything is possible. No. Okay, I like that theory. Um, it's very silly this all started because of the Doctor fucking casting soul. But we'll live. If the toy maker is the god of games, could this character be the god of music? The toy maker hinted that his legions are on the way. So All right, Crystal, you're, you're making some good content here. I've got to give you that. I think we'll be encountering some more supernatural and fantastical enemies this series. In the trailer, the Doctor himself remarks on the existence of powers beyond the universe. One possibility is the return of the trickster or the meddling... No, uh, no... Entities known for manipulating and distorting time. Which brings me to this hooded figure. Number three, could Ruby's mother be a villain in this series? There's a hooded figure in the trailer, and we know that baby Ruby was left at the church by someone wearing a similar getup. Is it the same person? Are they friend or foe? Is Ruby some kind of bait? Says it really does look like Millie Gibson under that cloak. I swear if they do something like that, it's like it's like so obvious. Please don't be that. By a sinister force to trap the doctor. And who's this lurking in the background, keeping an eye on Ruby? That is Probably the Stephen Moffat episode, I think. For what's going on with the TARDIS? It's clear the TARDIS is going to play an important role in this series. That's true. Exactly. And this image of the abandoned TARDIS just hints to the theory that something unusual is going on. Is the TARDIS malfunctioning? Is it corrupted? Or serving as a memorial? And what is S-Triad technology? Considering it's an anagram of TARDIS, that has to mean something. What were your thoughts on the trailer? Let me know in the comments below. Hi, right, Crystal. I'll give you this. You're, you're actually are, you actually are a good creator. Okay, I know I've made a few memes on the podcast, and yes, our podcast does have a, a better Spotify review than your podcast, and that's fine. Um, but you're also getting paid by the BBC, and I'm not, so I think I, I can I can make fun of you a little bit. Um, 
But no, you make good content. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, all right, let's get to Jeremy's uh, Ginger Jeremy's theory. Um, the the blah, 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 blah. before that before that I'm gonna do something. It's the weekend, baby. Time to crack open another cider. How about that? All right, let's read this. Let's read this theory, folks. All right. Jeremy says, that is Ginger Jeremy, says, Fairy, the various flashes of different looking rubies linked with the shot of the doctor screaming and to the void might be that Ruby keeps dying, the doctor keeps changing time. Ooh, baby, I like that. That is interesting in the trailer. I, I, I assume, this is just some dumb theory I have. I thought that that's going to be from Moffat's episode and she's going to be stuck on the landmine for so long that the TARDIS just like starts to grow old or maybe the doctor dies and we get to see ruby living a life being stuck on this um planet i don't know but that's a good theory uh do you count the vegas wife as one i suppose we have to jeremy i suppose we have to ginger and uh ginger and what's the other girl's name <laughs> uh causing the vortex to um oscar's question one where is um we see her with a gun says shem del yes we do we do see her with a gun uh oscar says question one where's the 15th first costume that appears for only f yes where's 15th doctor's costume that appears for only five seconds in church on ruby road i think we all call it anyway that ruby is one that drops off the baby uh at the church yeah so i'm so mad i love that costume it was the first promo promo pick we got off shooty the first official one with like the checkered um jacket and the trousers i love that costume and yes we only got to see it for five seconds in church and ruby road there is a theory going around that ruby dies and that he's just going back in time just to see her one last time baby but i don't know how everyone keeps saying like oh ruby's gonna die this season but it's like well she's in season two i know she's not the main companion but she's been seen filming for it so it's like, how can she be, how can she be dead? Huh? How can she be dead, folks? Um, Bruce says, remember when they announced the 15th Doctor's costume, it was all brown and orange one, and he barely even wears it. Yeah, we were just talking about that, not say, and where's the cowboy hat, says Jeremy? I don't know. It's just like, you know how, you know how Craig Owens gives um, the Doctor the cowboy, the Stetson, and that's where he gets it from. It's like, I'm getting, I'm getting bad flashbacks to that where I'm like, oh, crumbs. Is this, is this kind of like, is this going to be like a thing like that where we <laughs> have that? Uh, Pops with Shiba generates into a uh, veranda, says Bruce. I don't get the joke, but maybe that's because I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit dumb these days. It's all that sawdust and brick dust from work it's ruining my brain uh we'll go back on twitter that was kind of fun i hope i hope crystal d doesn't copyright strike me for watching her video but i thought it was good i i can respect any 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 creator doctor who or not doctor who oh shit the new companion sorry yeah you're not you're, you're right sorry that's that's me being that's all the sawdust man i'm telling you uh, I'd low-key crit. I'd low-key love a Craig reunion. Lol. Yeah, well, James Corden's back in the city. Uh, will the land might not be better than heaven sent, says Dan. As long as I got a fucking hole in my ass, no. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever get an episode like heaven sent again. We'll never get a doctor like Peter again, and I think that's what made that episode so great. So, no, unfortunately. I don't think we will, kid. I don't think so, kid. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's look at that. Oh, um, I know this is a bad time to do it, but uh, ask Chris in the chat who runs the Madman with the Bots podcast, where I, I always pop in every week just to say hi and make a joke about their old uh, host, Jimmy, who is a good friend of mine. But um, I'm going to hit up Oz Chris and be like, look, I want to upgrade my setup here for the live streams. How can I do it? Can you help me? And uh, you'll be able to see me scroll through Twitter like I am right now, watching Crystal D videos. Yes, you are. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my fuck. Oh my goodness me. I... Yeah. Great. I've got 
That is Afari's tweet referring to the fact that Disney has now given them money. I don't think there's... Yeah, there's Doctor Who turned... Ni- well, the new Who turned 19 yesterday. I guess that's it. Come on, Doctor Who Twitter. Be more interesting. It's so hard running a fucking live stream these days when there's no info. Pixel is the go-to, f- go-to guy for that. I just rock up. I can try my best. Okay. Thank you, Oz Chris. I will... I'll message Pix- Pixie Dust. Um, Bruce says... I was hoping to get a midnight level was a good writing for Marty D again. You and me both, brother. I need it in my veins. I I think Wobbly Yonder was getting close, and I know he's got more of that in him. And I'm very excited. Adam says money. Yeah, boy. Doctor Who begin rich, boy. I wonder how much they paid Shooty. He must have asked for a pretty penny, and understandably, because he knows, dude, if I was shooty, I would have gone in and been like, oh, this is more what a manager would do. He'd be like, look, he's one of the hottest stars at the moment. He was on a huge Netflix show. He just did Barbie. You know he's going to bring in people. We need we need a, a good Bunsen for that, baby. And I ain't mad. He deserves, he deserves, he earns every penny. He's going to bring in a lot of people. He's gonna bring in the girlies, man. A lot more, a lot more girls are gonna start watching Doctor Who, and hey, I'm kind of there for it. Okay, what can I say, folks? I'm kind of there for it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll message uh, Pixel from the Mad Men with a Box podcast to find out how um, to make my live stream and setup a little less shit because it's making me feel a bit fucking insecure every time I come on here, and it's just like me talking to my phone. Uh, fresh off sex education was a Ken and Barbie. Definitely getting that big box, says old Chris. Exactly. Man performed at the Oscars. Do you think, like... <sighs> Sorry, no other doctor did that. Do you know what I, do you know what I got this... Uh, Studios guy versus Adam? Yeah, he sure is. Do you know what I got this weird... Um, I saw this thing on Instagram. I don't know if it was... I don't know if it was fake or real. I don't know. Um... Not calling them out if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure it's legit. But they were doing, um, you could uh, get stuff signed by Tom Baker, but you could do it like, I could sign up and be like, hey, I want to get this signed, and he would sign it. It got me thinking. I was like, I don't know how much longer we have with Tom being on (laughs) planet Earth. Uh, That's such a weird way of saying it. I'll say it like this. I don't know how much longer we have with Tom (laughs) Baker still being alive, uh, to be blunt. And I really want his signature. I really do. I really, really do. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll buy something online. But it's like, yeah, to get like a classic box set signed by him would be really cool. Um, Shooty feels younger than Matt Smith, honestly, probably because of the buy generation. Absolutely. Uh, I have this here. This is my season ten signed by. Uh, Michelle Gomez when we interviewed her. Do you know what's so funny? Not complaining, because we, we got the interview. But um, she was so cool. She just signed this. Like, after the interview, she just signed it. Like, no one checked to see if we had purchased um, uh, to get something signed. But me and Aiden did beforehand. Again, just out of a good gesture to be like, hey, look, we, we, we did get something signed. But as she was signing stuff, we were backstage setting up all the camera gear with Crispy Pro. To get the interview um but yeah she just signed it and no one checked no one checked to see if we would bought um to get the signatures and yeah i think it cost me like 80 bucks but i was like whatever it's it's, it's just i was thinking about that today i was like it's just so funny that like she's so iconic she didn't she didn't care she was like yeah i'll just do it it's like oh shit i could have just like i could have saved like 80 bucks but <laughs> oh well speaking of crispy pro as well i got this signed Come on. There it is. Oh, no, hang on. Here it is. Here it, no. Where the fuck is it? Shit. Oh, I can't find it. I have, oh, is it here? I think it's here. It was here all along. God damn it. Signed by Crispy Pro. That's right. My season one Blu-ray signed by Crispy Pro. So in the same weekend, I got Michelle's. Shit. Uh, 
shit. <laughs> Fuck. And crispy fries. God bless. Uh, hey Tom, before you die, can you sign this? Yeah, unfortunately, Bruce, I think that's what I would have to do. He's doing signing still. It's like, damn, good on you, man. Uh, do you think David's face? Sorry, do you think David's face does hint he'll be in it? I don't. My sister said that. She was like, "Is he going to be in it?" And I was like, "I don't think so." I, I think we'll, I think David will definitely return in the coming years. Um, otherwise, why do the by generation? I keep saying this. Why do the by generation if you're not going to bring him back for something? Um, but yeah, I don't think he'll be in it anytime soon. Uh, Tom's costume is iconic. It is. I have. But this is the day of showing you guys stuff. Hang on, let me find it. I have this uh, handmade. Where the fuck is it? Ah! Stuff is flying everywhere, folks. Yeah. I have this handmade uh, Tom Baker scarf that was knitted by my ex girlfriend's mum. So I don't think I'll be wearing it anytime soon, but I have it, which is cool. And yeah, it was handmade, so it would have taken ages. And it was done to like, it was the actual prop um, instructions, which was really cool. So it was really sweet of her to do that. But yeah, I don't think I'll be wearing it anytime soon. Um, blah, 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 blah. It looks like she is getting scanned in the trailer. Future, future showrunner Crispy Pro. No, me. I'm the future showrunner. We want to do a podcast episode where... Aiden, I, and Crispy, we all pitch um, our showrunner ideas, and then the audience can vote who they think should be the uh, showrunner for the future. But everyone's going to vote Crispy Pro because everyone loves Crispy Pro. I don't know why. Nah, dude, it's the sweetest guy ever. Crispy Pro has um, uh, been in my house. He stayed here when he came over last year. Uh, uh, Sarah says, I love people figured out what episode the face is from and proved it was the 10th. I assume was going to go through all of them. Yeah, um, it's from the next doctor. Uh, Jeremy, Ginger Jeremy says, I deeply hope he is just a happy and with the nobles. 14 has gone through too much just to become the Valley Yard. I, I agree. <laughs> um, Bruce Simmons says, 15 is probably going to ask Rose how the other me doing, and she'll go, oh, he's on Mars or something. Yeah, we all know what happened last time the Doctor with that face uh, went to Mars and did, so, you know, I certainly hope not. Jeremy says, I really hope Matt comes back at some point next decade. You and me both, brother. Sarah Glover says, Jeremy, he'll become the creator, not the Valyard. Jeremy says, Sarah Glover, we can only hope. Jesus, I'm just reading the one's fucking thing. Maybe, you know what? Um... Will you be filming this weekend? Says Daniel. Um, uh, what, my video for 50 Doctor? Yeah, I will be. Yeah. Nothing else, though. Uh, I, 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 sometimes I don't have to read out every chat. I've started to realise that. Um, we're coming up an hour. This is the uh, little bit at the end where I like to ask you guys. If you want to ask me any questions, the floor is open. You can ask me about woodwork, um... Books about getting better, uh, dating advice. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ask away. I'll, I'll, I'll hang on for a few more minutes, and then I gotta go, folks. I gotta go pick up. Uh, gotta go pick up my best friend Daniel, who's in the chat. Jeremy says, "What do you want from the new series? Just a bombastic, incredibly well written, uh, fun, unforgettable Disney BBC blockbuster." Clearly thirsty tonight, fuck. That's what I want from the new series. How's the promotion going? Yeah, it's going good. It's just a lot of work. Um, and I'm going to be working Saturdays for a little bit. Um, but I just keep thinking about YouTube and how I can start to pay for stuff that... Because I was sort of just like catching up on bills every week and falling behind a little bit on some things. It, it's just kind of nice to have some, um, like I was able to go to the shops and buy those nice trousers that I showed you at the beginning and not really have to worry about um, not being able to afford it, which was nice. Um, 
just making a little bit of extra money each week is very handy. And if I start working Saturdays for a little bit, it means I'll be making uh, a little bit more on top of that, which is good. And I want to be able to start saving for my future, which I feel like I've never had the chance to do again, just because I've been paying either a registration or phone bills or I had to get my all four of my tires replaced randomly. Um, that cost like a thousand dollars. Just ran me out the blue. It just it was just thrown on me, and it's like fuck, like that's insane. So yeah, I just but it's been going good. Thank you for asking. Can't wait to find out who the boss is. Me too. I don't think we'll find out in season one, but um, we'll probably certainly find out um, maybe in two or three. I hope Shooty stays on for free. The boss has to either be Mrs. Flood or Mrs. Mary Do. Yeah, Mrs. Mary Do is going to be interesting to see what they do with that. A lot, a lot of old ladies in this season being like sinister. Like, what's going on? You can't really do a lot of scenes with them like running down hallways and shit. Um, yeah. <clears throat> All right, I might leave you guys to it. We did a full hour today, which I'm very happy about because they've been quite short the streams recently. Uh. I'll be back next week. I think, I don't think anything. Oh no, I think I, shit. I will be doing a live stream over the weekend because they're going to release the, um, the titles for the episodes. Yeah, I'll be back doing that. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a few Easter eggs on there or something. We'll, we'll make it a little bit Easter themed. Have you seen the theory that, that they're the good and bad of the same person, possibly the TARDIS? I haven't seen that to be completely frank with you all. Um, Thank you all for tuning in. You've all been brilliant tonight. You've all been, I can tell that long Easter weekend has got you all excited, which is very sweet. Um, I will see you again. I think sometime over the weekend, we'll have the episode titles come out. So we'll, we'll, we'll break them down. If Shudy leaves after, after two, Murray would leave and so would Russell. They all said that, but I don't think Russell would do two seasons. Um, uh, Shudy's probably going to say, I really hope so. Enjoy the long weekend. It was fun chatting shit about The Simpsons. Yeah, hey, get me talking about The Simpsons. I'll be here forever. Um, but yeah, thanks, guys. Much love. Have a great uh, Easter weekend. Tell someone you love them. Um, hug your cats. I know I will be. And uh, have a few beers, uh, but not too many. You can, have a, you can have a few too many, but um, don't take it too far. <laughs> And stay safe. I love you all. Cheers, says Oz Chris. Thank you, Jeremy. Have a great day. Have a great day. I love you. I'm off to the pub. Nah, you're so sweet. I love you all. Thank you for making my dream come true. Till the next time, from Perth, Western Australia, I've been your boy, Connor Hannum. Till the next time. Bye.